Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, I'm going to show you how to copy records from another day in your log, in your log table, right? Copy them to today, but keep their original time, right? So if it was last Wednesday at 3 p.m., you can copy it to today, but keep the 3 p.m. This is part of my fitness database series, part 47, which it doesn't matter if you care about fitness or not. This is a database about building cool database stuff. And I find in my food log, most of the time I eat the same foods at roughly the same time of day. So if my nighttime snack is usually at 11 p.m., I want to copy it from yesterday or the day before to today. But I don't want to copy it to right now. I want to copy it to 11 p.m., right? All right. First off today, I like to note whenever I make even minor changes for you guys. So if someone doesn't look at it and go like, what? I made this box a little bit bigger so I could see because some of these meal options are getting a little long. Even this, even this is a little short. Um, and for those of you who skipped the beginner lessons, <laughs> just open up the properties, change the list width to five. That's how wide the list is when it's open. And then you're going to change the column widths here. Zero is your hidden ID field, then four inches for the main description, then half an inch, half an inch. And these should add up to that ideally, right? Um, then we have a bug. Um, one astute user caught it already. I, in fact, uh, discovered this myself just after I finished recording and posting yesterday's video. And I'm like, am I going to go back and fix it? No, I'll let them find that bug on their own because this is a teaching series of videos. I'm not like making an instruction manual or a how to man. This is a teaching series. So I want you to discover any bugs that I might make. Sometimes I leave them in there intentionally. This one was not. <laughs> this was a careless bug, and I'll show it to you in a second. But uh, I leave them in there either way so that it's a teaching moment because if I make mistakes like this, you're going to make the same mistakes. And I discovered this mistake because I was putting in my lunch. Well, I was putting in all my food yesterday too. Uh, I think I discovered it, what, last night? Yeah, right here. Um, notice today... <laughs> <laughs> All my times end in 09, 09. <laughs> and the reason for that is very simple. If you go into the code and just look for uh, where we chop off those milliseconds in yesterday's, I'm just going to search for a millisecond in the current project. That'll bring me right to it. Uh, nope, not that one. Next. Yeah, here we are. Anybody see the mistake? I'll give you a hint. It's in this line. I call that one line because it's a continued line. See it? Date serial, year, month, day, and then time serial, hour, minute. <laughs> that's why all of my times are 1109309, because the month, it's currently September. Minute. That was driving me nuts. I discovered it almost immediately, too, and I'm like, oh, I just, I just posted the video. So that becomes a teaching moment. <laughs> Shout out to Donald Blackwell for catching this one first. Um, yeah, uh, he, he raised his hand when he saw it, but I, I didn't see him at the back of the room. There's just so many people in here. So, <laughs> All right, next up, on to new business. Um, the next thing I want to do is when we copy an item from one day to, let's say, to today with the copy item button, I want to keep the same time as it was on this date because most of the time, not always, but most of the time, if I have dinner, you know, usually around six o'clock, I don't want to copy it over and have it be, you know, at that time. Like my nighttime snack is usually around between 10 and 11 o'clock. It's about when I go to bed, right? So if this is always like 6 p.m., right? And this is always like 11 p.m., okay? If I copy my yogurt and berries over to today and go back to today, it puts the current time in there, which is 9.15. But I want this to be 11, okay? So let's do that. So we're going to go into the copy item button, this guy. And we're going to say, okay, where are you? Right here is where we edit. So we add the record here, right? Copy records, copies the record, and then we open it up and edit it and change the time. But we're changing the time to just now. So instead, let's set it to today's date, because we're copying it to today, right? And then just give it the time of the original record. Make sense? 
So this is going to be date instead, and then we're going to need to get the time of the original guy. So let's let's put this value in a temporary variable first. All right, makes it easier. So D as a date, we'll we'll declare just a D as a date, and then down here we're going to say okay, D equals whatever it was originally set to, because we copied the whole record, right? So R S food date time. All right, so we got that. Now let's leave the time portion alone and change the date part to today's date. All right, so D now equals the date, which is today's date, plus the time of D. Get it? So it's gonna be time serial, like we used last time, hour D, minute, not month, D, <laughs> second D. See how that works? So we're saying, okay, D equals the original food date time. Now I wanna change D equal to today's date plus the time of D, the time of the original date time. Make sense? Okay, now we can say RS food date time equals our safe food date time function, right? Take D, that thing we just built today at whatever the custom time is, Set the field in the table now equal to the safe food date time. Remember that function? That's the one we just made that says, okay, if there's already something at exactly 11 o'clock, make it 11 o'clock in one second. And now we can update the food time text, which we already have down here, but we're not gonna use now, now. <laughs> we're going to use food date time in there instead. All right, so set the food date time text equal to Format food date log time equal that. Okay, that's should do it. Let's give it a debug compile once in a while. Save it, close it, close it, open it. I go back to yesterday. I find my. Let's do my six o'clock. See, this was before we put the the safe or the the fix in there. The safe food date time where it fixes it by the second because this should be up top. And tangerine was last. I don't feel like messing with it though. But let's just grab yogurt and berries. Now, if I did my job right, I should copy it to today and keep the 11 o'clock, ready? Okay, go to today, and there it is. And I kept it, and everybody's happy. All right, um, one more little minor thing for today, this food group list here. This should be sorted, I think, right? Design view, open her up. We're going to just do this the easy way. Uh, right here, it's already said sort, but sort, order by description, but order by on load is set to no. So this means the last time you sorted it, you sorted it by description and it saved that, but order by on load is set to no, just change that to yes. Okay, uh, I got a whole separate video, which is order by on load. It's this guy right here. It talks about order by and filter on load. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. And then when you close this and open her up now, every time you load it, it'll apply your so I just, that was, just, I got a, I got a huge list of little things that are bothering me. So when I do like a main lesson, like we just did, and I've got a few minutes left and we'll do, we'll cut, we'll kill those little things right there. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. That's going to do it for today's class. How you doing? Are you guys enjoying this stuff? You picking up any tips and tricks for your own database? Post a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. And, um, yeah, don't forget to uh, like, share and all that good stuff. All right. See you tomorrow. We're going to, we're going to do another fitness video tomorrow because we're I'm, I'm in the groove tonight so i'm gonna record a bunch of them probably so that's gonna do it for part 47 folks we'll see you tomorrow for part 48 that's your tech help video for today hope you learned something live long and prosper my friends i'll see you next time if you enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up button right now and give me a like also be sure to subscribe to my channel which is completely free and make sure you click that bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever i post a new video do you need help with your Microsoft Access project? Whether you need a tutor, a consultant, or a developer to build something for you, check out my Access Developer Network. It's a directory I put together personally of Access experts who can help with your project. Visit my website to learn more. Any links or other resources that I mentioned in the video can be found in the description text below the video. Just click on that show more link right there. YouTube's pretty good about hiding that, but it's there. Just look for it. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, tables, all that stuff. 
It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? And if you like level one, level two is just $1. That's it. And it's free for members of my YouTube channel at any level. Speaking of memberships, if you're interested in joining my channel, you get all kinds of awesome perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, and there's hundreds of them by now. They also get one free beginner class each month, and yes, those are from my full courses. Gold members get the previous perks, plus access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos. Plus, you get access to my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions and all kinds of source code that I use. And gold members get one free expert class every month after completing the beginner series. Platinum members get all of the previous perks, plus they get all of my beginner courses, all of them from every subject, and you get one free advanced or developer class every month after finishing the expert series. And you can become a diamond sponsor and have your name listed on the sponsor page on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.